Well, tonight, an emotional moment prompts a local dad's impassioned plea. Now, Al Corman from Clover hopes a song that he wrote gives strength to people during hard times. Queen City News reporter John Lee tells us his story and the message behind the melodies. The rhythm of parenthood can be a beautiful thing. That's his I'm about to go to sleep noise. Alec Foreman doesn't miss a beat with his son Cash. Every pat on the back before bedtime is the sweetest moment of serenity, considering all that Cash has endured. We read the reports. We saw that a lot of kids don't make it at that age. He was really a, a miracle. He could shout it from the mountaintops. Now, a studio session helps amplify the message. All right, here we go. In Jesus' name, death has been defeated. At Diamond Productions in Kannapolis, Travis Motley listens for the woe factor. You can continue that woe. He comes in here in the studio. He's on 11. He's just ready to roll. I can feel it coming in the end night. Oh, Lord. Outtakes are sometimes part of the process. But the real genesis of a deeply personal song is not hard to grasp. Just asking God, Lord, please don't let it, don't take my son. You know, don't don't let us lose our son. There is healing here for everyone in need. When Cash was five weeks old, he was hospitalized with double pneumonia and respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV. For some infants, RSV can be very serious and even life-threatening. Um, there were some real, real emotional nights, like just in tears. Last July, Alec posted a tender video of him holding his son. You keep fighting, okay? Keep fighting. You can do it. As you can imagine, Alec and wife Ashley grew more frightened by the day. It was really scary just because it actually happened and he had to go to the hospital. She sent me a picture and it just scared me because he looked, he just looked like a dead baby. He looked like a fake baby. The night he saw that image, the lyrics to In Jesus' Name came to him swiftly. I had my knees down, I had my hands in the air, and I'm just kind of praying. I'm like, God, God, please, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. He wrote that track in about 10 minutes. In Jesus' name, every curse is broken. In Jesus' name, fear is overcome. And it just came up out of me that it could do faith, you know. His prayers were answered when Cash was released from the hospital after nine days. Alex says after that medical miracle, a musical one followed. You see, he never expected to record another album because of the costs involved. But after word got around about the inspiration for In Jesus' Name, folks donated some $20,000 to make it happen. I'm going to lower this mic a little bit so I can sing down, get a little more oomph on it. Okay. And the emotions that spurred the song sometimes came out during production. And he was singing the song and playing, and um, the whole meaning of everything. He said, it, "I think it just hit me. You just you can't you can't make that up. You can't plan that. It's it's so beautiful." The foremans made it through by leaning on each other and trusting in God. There we go. Oh, my Their quality time has never meant more. The family, including four little boys, relishes every dance and every song. And to see that, that God has everything under control, that it's going to be okay. There is redemption, there is a faith, oh there is power in Jesus' name. Right on bro. That was a good one. Yeah. I could feel it. Months after the scare that brought him to his knees in prayer, the beat goes on. And it sure has a resilient ring to it. In Clover, South Carolina, John Lee, Queen City News. It's just a truly beautiful story. As any parent knows, you will do anything for your child. You will give anything, yeah. do anything, and just, oh, just the emotion you saw in the dad's face, just. Yeah, and to know that they're healthy. And yeah. If they're not healthy, yeah. yeah, you'll do anything. Well, CD sales of In Jesus' Name will benefit the charity Speed the Light, which provides equipment to missionaries all over the world. Yeah, and, and kudos to everybody who gave money so that this could be able to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, support from the community, um, that's just amazing to be able to see that they saw his story and said, you know what, I want you to be able to live out your dream. The album will also be available on streaming services.